beautiful creatures. Welcome to the Oracle of Lilith. My name's Amy and I'm so glad you're here today. I hope you're doing well. If this is your first time to my channel, hi, hello, how are you? It's so good to have you. I hope you will find value in my video and consider subscribing to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, hey guys, what's up? How are you guys doing? I appreciate you being here. I always enjoy connecting with your energy. And I want to say a big thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I really enjoyed connecting with your energy. And I'm glad you're here today. So, this pick a card is a message from your future self. Um, I actually have been trying to do this video for a long time because I had a profound experience in 2019 with my future self. Uh, she showed up quite a few times in different visionary and trance experiences I had during meditation and other things. And um, it really helped me get on the road to where I am today. And it seems like she shows up in visions to kind of give me a pep talk <laughs> to keep me going and let me know that what's out there, what is what I'm moving towards is something I'm going to want, you know. So it's a beautiful kind of relationship I have with my quote unquote future self. So um, I wanted to share that experience with you. So these are messages from your future self. Now, interestingly enough, uh, Spirit w had me pick out quotes from Dr. Seuss. I'm not exactly sure why we're using Dr. Seuss, but I am sure it's going to um, unfold as we go. So um, you have these cards to pick from, and then you have a quote as well. Now there is a pre-shuffle. I have drawn oracle cards for each stack here, um, and then I will also be drawing cards as we go. So we're going to do a mixture of both. All right, so let's look at Number one here, my arm isn't very long, so. <laughs> okay, so you have Lumen Essence. These cards are all from the Beyond Lemuria deck. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? Dr. Seuss. I hope you guys can see. All right, so that's number one. And we have Number two, transformation. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. Dr. Seuss, maybe he's the ultimate time traveler. Who knows? These cards are kind of, you know, Dr. Seussy. You know what I'm saying? I, I kind of see it now. So, yeah, beautiful energy there. Okay, and interesting, the first card is 35. The second card is 53. So if you guys are drawn to either one of those or, or both of them, that might be why. They, they seem to have a similar um, energy. Okay, so number three is alignment. Number 18. It's high time you were shown that you really don't know all there is to be known. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great card. I love that message, actually. And then we have Awaken Awareness. You know you're in love when you can't fall asleep because reality is finally better than your dreams. Powerful message. And another interesting thing is we have 18 here, and then we have 17. And spirit tells me which order to put things in. So I just find it kind of interesting, all the different number combinations that we have going on here. So, okay, I will also insert a photograph. I have not done these yet. I haven't recorded these. So sometimes I record the opening first and sometimes I record it last. So I haven't, I don't know the messages are going to come through, but I'm really excited, especially with the seeing the connection between Dr. Seuss and the cards now. So yeah, so I will insert a photograph. You guys can take a moment and I will see you guys on the other side. Bye. Bye, guys. Hello, group one, all of you that selected this lovely card. 35 Lumen Essence. A heart chakra is just really lit up here. Okay, and you picked this quote. Why fit in when you were born to stand out? Dr. Seuss. What is your message from your future self? So let's look at the cards that we have right now, and then we'll see what else we can get going. The answers you need are coming. Your future self wants you to know 
the answers you seek are coming, okay? We have medicine. Ooh, this is a powerful card. Yeah. We have luck is on your side. Oh, wow. You got two moon cards. I don't think anyone else got two moon cards. So then we have discovery Maui. We have Saraswati, the goddess of self-knowledge. The essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. Oh, that's beautiful. And we have transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. Yeah, I can feel that. So let me see if I can get these cards all together. I'm going to pull from the Hermetic Tarot. So I, I think your future self wants you to be hopeful. Okay? I feel like there's healing that needs to happen here. We, healing has been mentioned twice. So I feel like you're going to be healing a lot. You probably are right now. You may not realize it. And this healing is going to help with your luck. It's going to help you get to where you want to be. Okay? Um, it's going to help you journey into a future that I don't think you see coming. Okay? Um, because part of your journey is self-acceptance. All right, there's things about yourself you need to accept. And um, I feel like there's healing of your heart chakra going on. All right, let me just connect with these cards and four more cards, please. Yes, messages from your future person. I feel that energy coming forward. What do we have to say? What do we have? The Lord of Valor, Seven of Wands. This is victory. We have the universe, beautiful cards. Three of Cups, Lord of Abundance. We have the star and we have Princess of Wands. Okay, I can kind of feel what's going on here. You, you were born to stand out. You were born to be seen. Um, whatever you're wanting to do for a life purpose or um, for, for, you know, work, things like that, whatever, however you resonate, um, I feel like you're going through a transformation and your future self wants you to know that, um, first of all, the answers you need are coming. And I feel very soon, very soon. Um, and... Uh, I feel like this is going to help you get some clarity on where you want to go. I think the answers you need have to do with this, this medicine and transformation card. Um, and this card right here, the goddess of self-knowledge. The essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. Okay, there is some transformation going on for you or will be going on for you depending on where you are in your in your uh, journey here. Um, but there is transformation going on that is going to help you accept some things about yourself. It's going to help you be more confident. It's going to help you when you want to put your work out to be seen. This particular group, I feel like your future self wants you to know you are meant to be seen. You are not meant to stand on the edge of the room and be... Uh, ignored and I really think you're not ignored you're just not really connected to the fact that people notice you they can feel this energy from you okay and I'm talking about the star energy here um, the star can be very healing it's often about um, faith hope love healing abundance sharing giving and i feel like it's time for you to like share your talents share your abilities uh, some of you guys have a really great sense of humor that really helps the people around you and you don't even realize how much that helps people i think you pick up you you help people um when they're down you kind of uplift them with humor and with positivity and if you're not doing this now, you will be doing this. But I think you do it naturally. You, d you just don't really probably connect with it. We have discovery. There are elements of self you need to really connect with, okay? Um, and I feel like for some of you, and I, I usually don't go into this kind of stuff, but I feel like for some of you, as you get yourself more and more seen, someone's going to 
uh, find you and give you an opportunity, okay? And your future self wants you to know this, that you are not spinning your wheels in, um, in negative pursuits. Like you are not spinning your wheels for no reason, okay? The gifts and abilities you have are meant to be brought forward and they're meant to help other people. And you may think, how does me doing whatever X insert whatever it is you do help other people just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there okay um because your future self is part of your higher self and uh the higher self knows everything they know everything about about you and uh, your abilities and your goals and your dreams they know stuff about you that you're not willing to know about yourself you know so um and some of you guys are in denial but there's abundance coming from this self-discovery from this allowing yourself to flow more more naturally into who you are i feel like some of you guys put up walls uh, so others can't really see the truth of you and you're hiding you're hiding some of the most valuable parts of yourself because you're afraid of getting hurt and that is what this transformation and healing energy is about luck is on your side things are about to get really lucky for you you have the universe here you have luck is on your side your guides are coming forward your future self is coming forward to tell you that this what you're going through now that i feel, feel like for some of you this feels you know, this feels bad. It doesn't feel good. It feels like you're having to come to terms with certain things about yourself and certain people around you. And it's like, as you make the leap, because it's a leap when you start really believing in yourself, okay? It's a leap when, when irregardless of what the people say around you, you continue to move forward or you make the first step to re towards really believing in your own dreams, okay? Uh, when you go for your dreams, you elevate your frequency, okay? It's just part of how it works. So, and we have sun. The golden energy of sun brings fame and fortune. That fell right out of the deck. So for some of you, this is about you becoming well-known in whatever industry that you, it, you know, it could be, you know, you become a, a really well-known chemist or something. It, it, it's different for different people, okay? And for some of you, it's, you know, being known, like being seen, that kind of thing. And it brings you abundance. It brings you happiness. There's a lot of joy in the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is also about connection, networking, um, being in the right place at the right time with this luck. We have the Princess of Wands here. Beautiful energy with the Princess of Wands. She's hopeful. And people want, Princess of Wands is like an energy of, people want to be seen with this energy, okay? This is someone who is really a current, all right? And they're on, it's like they have the pulse of a group of people and they can speak for those people. So I feel like there is a group of people who are going to relate to you in a way that is intense, yet fun, and it's going to be a lot of fun for you, and it's going to be abundant, all right, um, but there is some healing you need to do with the medicine here, uh, this is all about, like, spiritual healing, physical healing, you know, you might need to drink some more water, I feel like we have this uh, flower of life symbol here, I feel like the, the throat chakra is very powerful, you have a very powerful uh, form of expression in the world, and it's really time for you to harness that, it's really time for you to start to work on that, and some of you might feel like, you know what, I can't do it, or I'm not good enough, or I'm not attractive enough, or I'm not, there's a lot of knots, 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 that's part of this medicine. It's going to heal that up where you know that you're more than good enough. You're wonderful. And this magical, wonderful life is meant for you. And your future self is telling you that. It's telling you that you can manifest this life. You can manifest this experience. But you're going to have to start working um, on healing your heart and throat chakra. Okay? Now, I can just tell you from my own personal experience that this is difficult. You know, it does take time. It does take patience. You have to work with it because usually when your heart and your throat chakra are kind of blocked or locked up or, or going through what you're going through right now, there's usually a critical reason. Okay. Maybe you have a really intense self-critic. Maybe your parents were very critical or whoever you grew up with. Maybe you had a intense sibling rivalry that um, made you feel inadequate, but there is healing coming for you. And it's important that when it shows up for you to accept it. Now, these answers that are coming are going to help you 
you see the similarity in the color here. Uh, the throat chakra is often seen as a blue, um, a, a blue burst of light. And I'm feeling like healing your throat chakra is going to change your life. And, um, in a big way, because I feel like you have a lot to you have a lot to say. You have a lot to get out of your soul, um, and for many of you, like this is deep. Your expressions are very deep. You're not just a fly by the night kind of um, like artist or creator or builder, or whatever it is you do. Um, this this is heartfelt. And I feel like you don't understand that people are going to feel that from you. They're going to feel it and they're going to want more of it, okay? They're going to want to know this magical person and all the things that you can do. They're going to want that. And this, the, the goddess of self-knowledge, the essence of who I am, flows effortlessly into everything I create. That really is what I'm hearing this time in your life is about. It's about you understanding this basic, I'm hearing like this is a kind of a basic rule of thumb for you. The essence of who I am flows effortlessly into everything I create. It will be very easy once your healing with your throat and your heart chakra is done. Being creative, expressing yourself, however this is. It, it doesn't have to be, you know, you're an actor or something like that. It could be like you're a really great nurse and you're going to be known among other professionals as a wonderful nurse. Your patients are going to know you as a wonderful uh, magnetic healing nurse. It, it's different for different people. So you can, you can place this on whatever it is that you want to do. Because whatever it is, you have the ability to really succeed and to bring abundance into your life. And abundance isn't just money. It's abundance of love, abundance of good experiences, abundance of fun, abundance of happiness, those kind of things. And I really feel like that's what's coming forth from your, um, your, future, your future self here. So let's pull a couple other cards. Really beautiful things are going to be manifesting for you. You just have to hang in there, okay? And you have to allow yourself to stand out. And for some of you, that's really hard, okay? You have to get a handle on your throat chakra, and you have to be willing to say things. And you may say some things that upset people, okay? That's all right, because it's your truth, and you have a right to say what you need to say. That person that you say it to or write it to and delete it or whatever, get it out of your system. But they don't, you know, you're not responsible for how they respond. And they don't have to respond at all. But that's really not the point. The point is, is for you to open up your throat, open up your throat chakra, open up your heart chakra, and allow people to see you and stop hiding. Stop hiding. No one benefits from you hiding, okay? The underworld underworld where all things pause and begin again okay this is another card of transformation okay so we have transformation here twice okay so I feel like you're going to go through a couple of ascension processes all right and that, that's what I'm hearing you're going to go through a couple of ascension processes and um, there is going to be deep healing with both of them and I feel like this is this represents the shadow ascension so this represents you getting really comfortable with your shadow self getting really comfortable in um, the vessel facing your fears about yourself not being good enough or pretty enough or handsome enough or talented enough all those dark fears of um, just spinning your wheels and never accomplishing anything, um, facing your own limitations, facing your own addictions, facing your own trauma, whatever this is, it's about facing it and rising. So what, where all things pause and begin again, and then we have transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. This awakening, this level of ascension is going to point you to the next level, and that is... Um, a new awareness, a new way of being. The work you do doing here actually manifesting in your body, in your life, in the people around you, in your work, in your job. You begin to heal at such a deep level that it 
absolutely manifests in your life. And then you can really understand um, how talented you are, how, uh, how amazing you are, and you develop self-confidence. You develop your solar plexus. Your solar flex plexus really begins to light up and you're able to really put in a lot of positive energy and massive amount, I'm feeling like massive amounts of sun energy, like Leo energy, um, into your work. And it's all going to unfold for you. So, yeah, that's what I got for you. So I hope this resonated, number one. Uh, please let me know if it did or it didn't. I enjoyed reading for you. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Hello, beautiful group two. All of you that selected the transformation card. And then you had this uh, quote from Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Dr. Seuss. So what is your message from your future self? Let's get into it and see what comes forward. So let's look at the cards that came forward. Whoa, you got the abundance card, you guys. <laughs> wow. I, this is one of my favorite abundance cards out of all the decks that have abundance cards. So beautiful energy. Wow, good things. I would say good, good things. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. If you used to watch my uh, daily energies, that came out for a really long time, like almost every day it seemed like. Uh, Green Man, abundance. <laughs> you know what? I, I just pulled these cards. I haven't looked at the cards. I have no idea. So, um, wow, you got abundance twice. Abundance twice, you guys. Um, the High Priestess, I am one with my soul, and my soul is a legacy of love. Well, I believe this is the Sumerian high priestess that wrote a lot of the um, rituals and things like that on how, you know, rituals were done in Samaria. And a lot of religions have based a lot of their, their basic rites on some of the things she wrote. I believe that's who this is. I, don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure. So you may be a writer. You may be feeling called to write something. Unbound, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. Yes, so that is part of what's going on with you. It's releasing these ties that are, I feel like you're being blocked. You're blocking yourself from this abundance because a lot of you aren't acting on this creative impulse to share a story. For you guys, I feel like this is writing, okay? And... You have a choice. You don't have to do this. Your future self is saying, I, I'm seeing them shake their head. They don't have to do it. But it would be really great if <laughs> you considered doing this because there's a lot of really beautiful things to be made. And for many of you, you come from a family where the abundance has been blocked. Maybe there's been a legacy of poverty, of sickness, of addiction, things like that. And your future self is telling you that you can break, break this, uh, I'm seeing like these chains, like I'm seeing a chain and a lock as if, and I'm seeing a chest, like there's a, there's a chest full of money that's been locked away um, because we have all these other things going on that need to be healed. Uh, I feel like for a lot of you, this is about creating good boundaries, healthy boundaries with people and with yourself. You know, if you want to make this happen, uh, and I'm feeling like this is writing for a lot of you, this is writing or some kind of business, um, take you know, this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. But I feel like you're being guided to do this. And they're telling you about abundance twice and the green man with abundance because you're healing this generational um, issue that has presented with being able to really um, attain the kind of success that you want. And I also feel like this is generational. Like what, what, the doorway, the pathway that's open for you by healing up a lot of these ties is going to, could affect generations is what I'm hearing. Um, Tinka 5, manifesting money and income. Okay, so you have abundance, abundance, and, man, and Tinka 5. Trinka 5, uh, manifesting money and income. Okay, I don't know how much more clear your higher self has to be. It's almost like you're leaving money on the table. Okay, and they don't want you to do that anymore. They don't want you to um, just surrender to maybe a situation where you just feel like you can't overcome. 
you know, you don't know how to do this, you don't know how to do that. Well, go get the skills to make your dreams come true, okay? Get the skills to do it. <clears throat> All right. Get five cards from the Hermetic Tarot. Tell me more, higher self, for group two. Passion. I'm hearing passion is going to be very important. You need to do what you're passionate about, okay? If this isn't writing, this is something that you're very passionate about and you need to do it, okay? You're holding yourself back. I'm feeling like the chains that were on, I'm seeing, literally I'm seeing a vision of the chains that were on, the chains that were on the chest are now like around your upper part of your body, okay? It's like you may feel like you're immobile. You may feel like you, you, don't, you can't see the way out. Um, you don't know how you're going to do this. You may be just really in a situation where you're having to, to, to juggle needs and wants and um, survival and that kind of thing. That's where the balancing spirituality and practicality come into play. You know, be practical. You know, keep working a job or get a job or whatever you need to do for money. But this should be a major focus in your life, okay? This thing. This thing you're passionate about. This thing that you want to do. Can you imagine what a, what a different world it would be if people just followed their passion? Yeah. We have Hierophant. Magnus of the Eternal Gods. Beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah. You have the ability. You have brains in your head. You have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself in any direction you choose. That's what the Hierophant's about. The Hierophant is, is a traditional, usually a very traditional kind of card. It talks about, you know, religion and things like that. But it's also a card of leadership. People go to a Hierophant. They go to a Hierophant, you know, sometimes it's... Um, you know, confessions, things like that. It just depends on what area the Hierophant is in. But generally speaking, it is a card of, um, of leadership, of guidance. Yeah, you may be passionate about helping people or you may not realize it, but you have some, you know something that can help guide other people to abundance. We have the Ten of Wands, Lord of Oppression. Yeah, I feel like that is what the Unbound card is about. That is what uh, is blocking. There's been a lot of oppressive energy. I feel like it's in your bloodline. Um, this may go back a while. We have the Sun, Lord of the Fire of the World. That's the most positive card. So you have the Lord of Oppression, you have the Hierophant, and you have the most pop uh, positive card in the deck. And then you have the Princess of Pentacles, Princess of the Echoing Hills. Um, that's about manifestation and healing. So let's keep going. I need one more card, please. That is three. That's way more than one. Okay. <laughs> I need one more. Just one. All right. That is too many. Can we have one? I'd like to have one. This one. Woo! <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune. All right. So... Yeah, I feel like as you begin to heal the I and this has to do with money, okay? I feel like for some of you, you haven't had a good relationship with money in general in this life, okay? Your family probably hasn't. Um, you haven't had a good understanding of how the energy of money works. And there is a whole kind of manifestation, magic, if you will, or energy to money, all right? And it's a balance. It's a balance between giving and hanging on to. And you have to figure out what that is for you. You have to learn the discernment on when it's okay to spend and when it's okay to save. For some of you, you know, you come from families that hoard money. And because they hoard money, they may not have a lot of money because they didn't allow any flow. So how do you allow flow? You spend it with discernment. Okay, that's how you allow flow. That doesn't mean you throw money at everything. You throw money at your passion. You throw money at things that have meaning to you, that have value. Because when you put money behind, or resources, whatever this is, but I'm saying money right now. When you put money behind your passion, you're telling the universe that I'm betting on my passion. I'm betting on my life. I believe in myself. And the universe brings that back to you full force. If you hold on to your money and you don't put any money behind your passion, 
you're telling the universe that you really, you're not willing to put all your resources into this passionate thing. And the universe can't manifest out of, out of nothing. Okay. Uh, most people will tell you if something's happened, like say they receive a lot of money, they've usually done something um, to make that energy happen. They've like worked very, very hard or, um, you know, they've done a lot of prayer. It can be uh, a lot of different things. We always have to do the work though. Okay, you can't just sit and pray for money. You can't just sit and manifest for money. You actually have to make the moves towards getting that money. Okay, and I think for a lot of you, especially with this card here, there is something creative. There's some kind of expression that you have coming out that's going to help you get further. For some of you, this has to do with like you going to university and getting an upper degree. For others, this is about like you going out and getting the skills you need to express yourself in the way you want to. And for others, this is just about you getting on your craft and doing it and letting people see you and putting it out there, um, however that unfolds for you. So because there's a lot of good karma coming from getting control of this oppressive energy that's around your creativity and your money, your resources, your ability to really get to places in your life where you want to experience things, right? So that's what this transformation is about. It will transform your life as you get a hold of this. Your future self wants you to know that there is so much potential in your life, but you have to choose this. This is not something that's just going to uh, unfold for you. You have to choose it. You have to walk the path. You have to be willing to fail. You have to be willing to give yourself time to figure it out. You know, there's a learning curve in anything we want to do, okay? So we have to have the focus, the belief, the determination to keep going when we try things and they don't work out. Well, if that didn't work, try something else. You know, there's always a, a pathway unfolding for you to try something new. Be flexible. I'm feeling Aquarius energy here. There's a need for you to be very flexible, okay, in this. So you can really get a handle on the good, it feels like good juju. I want to say juju. I don't know. I don't really use that term very often. So it feels like really good, like, energy coming towards you um, that's being released as you let go. As I'm feeling the chains, like, unlock around your heart. You know, maybe this oppressive energy has to do with, uh, you know, relationships with your family and things like that. You know, money may be something that they control by your behavior kind of thing, and it may feel very repressive, so you may feel like you can't get out of that. It's just different for different people. I'm picking up on different stuff. So let's get a few more cards. Woo! I feel like this card. These two, actually. Protection, jack-o'-lantern. Okay, so with the unbound card, often with abundance, often with major moves in life, we need to be more protective of our energy. So what I'm feeling is you need to figure out who in your life is supportive of your, your goals and ambitions and who is oppressive, who is not allowing you to really flow, who doesn't believe in you. That's the bottom line. You need to figure out who doesn't believe in you and you have to decide if that if those are the kind of people you really need around you, okay? We have the lamp, remembrance. It's really important that you connect to the positivity in your past, okay? You know, we all have crazy lives. We all experience crazy things. But even in some of the most dark times in our lives, there's usually some kind of light, okay? Remember that light. Allow that light to help you move towards this thing you're passionate about. Uh, it's really going to help you unfold uh, a really beautiful wave of abundance, of opportunity, of possibility. This is also like love. If you are seeking a relationship that is um, based in true, intense love, I feel like that's coming for you. I feel like Scorpio here, uh, Pisces, Cancer. So you may have a water sign that's approaching you. That's just kind of a side uh, note, you may be with a water sign right now. So, um, but there's a lot of good things. Your future self really wants you to understand that if you can release this oppressive energy, if you can get free of the oppressive people around you, if you can free your mind from the oppressive thoughts and start to really protect and honor your own truth, you can break free and experience a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness. Um, money isn't going to be a problem. That's what I'm hearing. Money isn't going to be a problem. But you've got to trust yourself and you've got to trust your journey. Okay? 
All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Hi, group three, all of you that selected this beautiful card alignment and this quote. Let's read it, okay? It's high time you are shown that you really don't know all there is to be known. Dr. Seuss. So yeah, let's get into the cards here. Now keep in mind it's a general reading. It's a general session. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay. Um, messages from your higher self. So we have alignment. Okay. We have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. You have a lot of support coming in. You and your loved ones are safe. Aw, I feel like you guys have been through a lot. You've been worried maybe about your kids, maybe providing for them protection. Okay, so we have two messages here of safety and protection. Okay, so just know what you're going through right now. You're protected. You have angels. You have your ancestors. Whatever paradigm you resonate with, those energies are around you helping to protect yourself and protect your family and your loved ones. So it's really important that you pay attention to uh, the messages and the intuitive uh, guidance you're getting because they're trying to help you get through the situation. We have skill. Yeah. I, I, I get that. Uh, I really think... They are trying to help you maneuver through this time in a skillful way. Um, you may also be called to maybe go back to school as well. The saint of authenticity. I am my authentic self in all circumstances. This is hard. This is about having to choose what's in your best interest. What's your, in your and your children's best interest? What's in your and your loved one's best interest? Usually we make decisions that are in our best interest. They also tend to be in the best interest of everyone involved, okay? Sometimes we're catalysts, which can blow. <laughs> it's never fun to be a catalyst, you know? It's just not <laughs> because many times you get made out to be a villain, but, you know, that's okay. That's okay. All right, let's get some tarot here and get into what's going on. So um, I feel like for some, I'm seeing the word scarcity. Maybe there's been a lot of scarcity or you're fearing money will be scarce. Resources will be scarce. I feel like some of you guys are thinking about walking away from a job or have walked away from a job um, or a person. There is something stable here, okay? And it's like you're getting realigned with uh, your life purpose. So that's why you have all of these guides coming in. Uh, to help all this energy. I feel like you'll also have people in your life reach out to help you. Um, and maybe that's part of the alignment is letting new people in. I'm going to take these cards. I need one more. Oops. I need one more. One more, please. Future self, one more. I'm feeling this one. Okay. I'm going to also pull a couple of uh, other oracle cards as guided here. Tell me more about the situation. Tell me more. I'm, I'm hearing there's someone in your energy field that you need to protect yourself from. Now, this could be the ex that I'm picking up on. It could be a boss who doesn't mean you well. Maybe this is a boss who's about to let you go or give you a demotion or a sidestep you kind of thing. Um, you probably know if this is, if you resonate with this, you know who I'm talking about. Um, but it feels like there is like... I'm, I'm literally hearing someone tell me there's like an enemy on the grounds kind of thing. Like there, there's, there's an enemy energy present. I think you've been feeling this. So uh, this may be a friend, um, could be a loved one, something you don't know everything about. Um, for some of you, this is like betrayal energy. And your, your future self is coming through to give you support during this time. Okay, so that's why we're talking about alignment. You're, you're about to get align, aligned with something very powerful. There's a lot of power. Like I'm picking up on the, the uh, crystal, like white energy, white light energy here, white light energy here, white light energy here. There's a lot of really intense um, angelic frequency coming forward for you. Okay? They want to help. I'm going to get three of those cards. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. And see what is going on, what messages your future self has. Okay, we have the Ten of Potions. They want you to know happiness. Happiness is on the way.
okay it's coming all right that's part of what you're moving into okay we have the ten of presents uh what <laughs> wow <laughs> You're in alignment with happiness, happy family, stability, all those beautiful things. Let me get a drink real quick. All right. Um, wow, it's been a long time since I have had the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles come out together. You're talking about a good time. This is the Hermit. This is my uh, sneaky card in this deck. For some reason, the energy of the Hermit, it, it hits me because he's, I guess because he's peeking around this corner, um, like someone watching. It's almost like happiness and success are, um, are stalking you. It's wonderful energy. All right. Sorry about that. My throat is trying to close up. It's so weird. Okay. We have the Nine of Candles. It's a wounded warrior. Um, and we have the Queen of Candles. So, wow. Massive change. That's what I'm feeling. Massive, massive change for this wounded warrior. And I, I think it's going to be a little scary. Sweetness and synergy. It feels like everything is going to come together. You know, having a scary having a positive change can be scary just as much as having a bunch of negative changes okay so i feel like this is something good maybe you've been used to things being rough for so long i resonate with this myself you are so used to things being rough for so long that when things start aligning in a way where you can be your authentic self you can be happy you can you know that you and your loved ones are taken care of. You don't have to worry about it. It's hard to trust that, especially if you haven't experienced much of it in your life, you know? So I'm just making sure you guys are still plugged in. Okay, let's see what this is about. We have awakening. Yeah, there's something. It's high time you were shown that you really don't know all there is to be known. Yeah, this feels good. This doesn't feel like a bad thing. Tarot cards, guidance, yeah. That's interesting and prosperity. Oh, responsibility. High priestess. Okay. I'm feeling like for many of you, this is a positive change. You guys might actually be seeking out guidance um, to help you realign. But I feel like your ancestors, I'm just going to give you what I'm going to give you, you guys. I feel like your ancestors, your guides, your spirit guides have been coming through tarot cards. I feel like you probably haven't heard this. You haven't heard this. Um, you've, you have heard. You've heard this many times is what I'm trying to say. Um, this is probably not the first time you've heard what I'm telling you. Okay. There's happiness and prosperity coming in for you and your family. All right. It's going to be a very sweet time. Um, and I feel like you guys have been through so much that it's going to be hard to trust this experience. You're going to have a hard time trusting that this really great thing is happening. Um, and you're asked to trust it. You're being asked to trust, trust it. You're protected. You may be asked to take a leap of faith. Um, the Ten of Potions is also about being very creative, being highly intuitive. We have wands and we have the uh, cups here. I feel like for some of you, this is about you um, owning this powerful part of yourself that has the ability to change your life by really getting into what you're skillful at. So in those of you who resonate with this, for some of you guys, this is like painting, okay? For others, this is a business you want to do, um, but there's something here that you're highly creative. I feel innovative here. You have an innovative way of looking at things, and I feel like you're really open-minded, and that's one of your strengths, okay? So pull on that. Pull on the open-mindedness. I feel like for a lot of you, if you are experiencing a difficult time right now, lean on your intuitive hits. When you get a positive intuitive message or a song or vision or have a meditative experience you can't explain, just trust that. You know, trust it. Um, trust your experience and go with that. I feel like a lot of you are probably uh, really getting pulled into your psychic abilities. Allow your psychic abilities, this awakening, allow your psychic abilities to pull you uh, to what you're passionate about, okay? Because it's really going to help you. I feel like you have happy family, happy life here on the table. Very prosperous. I feel very generous spirit with you. I feel like you will be giving to others uh, and you will share what you've been told, what you've been taught, what you've 
found out uh, your abilities I see like charity work here as well you may be very charitable many of you guys are going through an awakening it's high time you were shown that you really don't know all that is to be known maybe you didn't know maybe you weren't aware of how uh, energy works the flow of energy maybe you never really thought you were psychic or maybe you didn't believe like in any of this kind of stuff and um, you're being awakened to a new um, part of reality, a new energy in reality where um, magical thinking works, um, where energy is real and where, um, you know, I, I'm seeing the word illumination. I feel like you're being illuminated on to some of your really intense skills and abilities. I keep being led back there and you may be a tarot card hard reader you may be being told to get into your tarot card reading or you may be being told to get into your creative inspirational psychic abilities and maybe you fought it but I feel like um, I feel like your your future self is saying you need to whatever this guidance whatever this tarot cards guidance represents you need to go with that whatever's been guiding you um, and if you don't feel like you've been guided yet it's gonna start okay how does it start it starts with if you go to tarot readings obviously you do your reading you're listening to mine so uh, and they say the same things over and over that is a message from the universe okay that's not coincidence um, a lot of times tarot readers get into the same kind of energy you'll, you'll notice it um, with readers who don't know each other they don't follow each other they don't you know you'll notice them getting into um, their own own rhythm and they kind of pick up on the same things at the same time um, and uh, yeah it's, it's really interesting when you really start getting into tarot readings and things like that I feel like you're getting uh, so many messages from the universe are going to start coming um, and you're going to become aware of things unknown in your life when you awaken in your life you often become aware first of your own behavior then the uh, baby behavior of others and then the things that you need to change and um, change is hard but change is how you align all right so um and i feel like you are a group that's about to go through a massive change this is an awakening okay um and i feel like uh i'm feeling spring energy here a lot of renewing energy here i feel like for a lot of you you may be being led to a particular path and just allow yourself to unfold naturally into your curiosity don't judge where your intuition guides you. I mean that very strongly from your future self. Do not let your uh, morality, and I'm not saying do anything immoral, but don't let what you've been told is wrong make the decision for you. You make the decisions based upon your own feeling, your own intuition, okay? It's very important. Okay, let me get a few more cards here for you. I'm going to pull one more from the Halloween Oracle for you guys. So your family is protected. You are protected through this process of you becoming more of your authentic self. You cannot hide yourself forever. You know, if you do, then what good has this life been? If you haven't been able to express yourself, you're going to find, listen, children leave. We outgrow our friends. Sometimes we outgrow our partners. In the end, you came in to this dimensional experience as one. You're going to leave as one. Don't you want to experience what it's like for you to live in the truth of who you are? I think the answer is yes. Eternal love. Oh, wow. For some of you, this is love. Okay, someone during this awakening process, someone's going to show up. Okay, and you're going to like them and they're probably going to scare you to death because they're going to know you like no one else. Okay, and that's always scary. <laughs> that's terrifying, you guys. It's terrifying. I feel for you. I really do. I'm going to get a couple more. I want to talk about this eternal love here because I feel like you guys probably want to know. Tell me more about this person. You know, if you're with someone and you're going through a divorce or you're with someone and you know they're the wrong person, that's what this is. If you're single, that's what this is, okay? Uh, there's a few of you who are with the right person, and this is just validation. It's, it's so different for everyone. So, um, yeah. Tell me more about this relationship. It's almost like the energy of you waking up and knowing more than what you thought, becoming aware of more than what... Of, 
more than what you thought, um, helps you get clarity about your relationship, about what you want. I feel like for some of you, now take what resonates, okay? I'm just telling you what I'm hearing. For some of you, you're going to find out your partner is cheating. For others, you're going to find out that your your boss is thinking about getting rid of you, Um and uh, you need to start looking for a job. It's that kind of thing. It's almost like I feel like a tower should be here. But for many of you, you know, this is a new person, okay? Take what resonates. All right, tell me more about this eternal love. I'm getting five cards. We'll get, okay, we're going to get seven. All right. Okay. Let's not find out more about the eternal love here. We're going to clear these off. Okay, we have the Hierophant. Okay, so this is often, this could be a marriage card. So this may be somebody you're going to marry. We have the Page of Swords. We have the King of Swords. A lot of air here on the table. We have the two of pinnacles. We have the world. We have the ten of wands. And we have the seven of wands. Okay. All right. Okay. I kind of see what's going on here. So you're about to enter a new cycle with this world card. Okay. And it's a new romantic cycle for some of you. That's part of what this uh, your future self wants to say. Okay. It's going to involve it's going to involve you uh, moving on. And that's an accomplishment. You know, it's, it involves you picking up your sticks and, and moving on. Okay, so this is about letting go of a person, place, or thing. It could be about just moving into a place where you're more open to the possibility of someone new. Um, but I feel like you're going to be in this defensive mode. So you may find out something about, about the person you're with, or you may just get sick of being alone and decide, you know what? I don't want to be alone anymore. <laughs> I don't want to be backed into my corner anymore. I don't want to feel like I'm always ready to fight. Um, and I feel like while you're going through this awakening, doing your thing, that's when this energy will show up. I'm feeling like this could very well be an air sign for you. Um, we have the, um, that would be, I'm also seeing Aries, so Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, and then I'm getting um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini showing up here, and I feel like um, they're gonna, there will be messages. You may meet them online, um, but they will send you a message, okay? And I feel like this energy is gonna help you balance. That's what this eternal love is all about. This person's gonna help you balance. They're gonna help you with your alignment. They're part of your alignment, okay? Um, this eternal love is part of it. And I feel like your higher self, your future self is coming through. And they just want you to know that how do you know this is the good, per the, not the good person, but a good relationship, this is the one, is it's going to be very sweet, okay? It's going to be, um, there's going to be a lot of laughter and you guys will have things in common. It's not going to be hard, okay? When your person comes through, it shouldn't be hard. If it's super hard, then it, they're probably not super ready or you're not super ready, okay? And it will involve an awakening. I feel like this person will help you. Um, uh, this may be a touchy subject. This, this person's going to help you heal from any past, like, um, energy of betrayal, Okay, that has made you doubt maybe how you look or your body or um, your sexuality and things like that. This person's going to help you heal and move forward. So if you have issues like that, this person will help you heal. Okay, they're going to let you know the reality of you is much different than what you think it is. Okay, uh, I think that's part of this getting to know things that you don't know about yourself. I feel like you don't maybe think you're very attractive or beautiful or intelligent. I think this partner is going to come in and say, hey, you know, I'm lucky to have you. You know, you're so smart. You're so brilliant. You're so wonderful. You have such a beautiful soul. You're such a beautiful human being. You know, you're very attractive or whatever it is for you. And I feel like uh, that energy is going to help you heal and move forward towards this. I feel it's alignment. You're aligning with a life life purpose, with a higher life purpose, okay? I feel like I'm seeing the card, which I'm surprised I didn't. I don't have one of those for you. Let me see if I have the deck. Yes, I do. I'm going to pull... I'm going to pull one of these. I'm seeing you've been doing this for a lifetime's card out of, I think it's this deck or the Starseed deck. So let me pull from here. Let's see. Okay. 
keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Yes, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling like this is very divine and it's protected, okay? And because they want you to be happy. They want you to have, be happy, have your person. And um, yeah, it's wonderful. Let's see, we have dance with life. Do something to change your energy. So how do you get the ball rolling? How do you get into this wonderful, beautiful ten of potions, ten of cups? We have the uh, ten of pence. So how do we get this going, future self? How do we get all this beautiful energy going? What do we need to do? We need to change our energy. Okay, so how can you change your energy? How can we get you moving? Um, I feel like for many of you, you need to, well, number one, this is what Spirit always says. You need to get outside nature, get away from um, technology, and uh, maybe go on a picnic if you have kids, take your dog for a walk, if you have a pet or something. Go outside. I'm hearing get near water. You may be a water sign. Water can be very grounding. It can be grounding for anyone, but I feel like uh, water signs have a special connection with with the water so and uh, enjoy breathe in some chi breathe in that great uh, prana breathe it in and allow it to kind of cleanse your vessel of the stress I feel like you've been very stressed and um, just know that everything you've been going through is to get you to this place of abundance and happiness where you can build stability in your life the ten of pentacles is about stability it's about foundations it's about building lasting things and I feel like that's what this relationship is and that's where you're headed in different areas of your life if you want to develop stability in your career um, you can absolutely do it with this energy. But first, we got to kind of clear our own, um, our own vessel. We got to clear our house, maybe drink some more water, uh, sage your house, do the kind of basic things that people do, play some higher frequency music. That's very helpful as well. There's all sorts of different kind of things you can do. For you guys, um, a um, Epsom salt bath would probably be very helpful. Uh, Epsom salt, salt helps cleanse your aura. Um, all of that will help you change your energy. Sometimes it, you just need to laugh or cry. You know, if you need to cry, put on some music that makes you cry or watch a movie that makes you cry. Get it out of your system. Get it out of your system. I'm telling you, like, 2019 was a year that I cried more than I've ever cried in my entire life. I cried so deep I thought I would never stop crying. But I got to tell you, once the sorrow is released, and you'll know, your energy can can it just seems to start to heal itself you seem to be able to listen to yourself more intensely and get more clarity because you don't have the clouded thinking of these pent-up emotions of sorrow or anger whatever it is just make sure you do it in a a healing way there are many times I crawled into the bathtub and I you know I have autoimmune disease too but I was in a bathtub like you know six times a day crying and I, it really scared me. I'm one of those people that, you know, I had kept control of myself for so long, my emotions and just all the trauma that I really was scared I was going to break. But you know what? You won't break. You won't. And if you need help, go get it. That's what it's there for. Take care of yourself because you have a very bright future ahead of you. But there's some things that you have to do to change your energy. And one of them is to acknowledge your authentic emotion and allow the energy to be released in healthy, positive ways. If you give in to any kind of like, you know, you know, eating your emotions, using substances, or, or in some way acting out ne negatively to yourself, then you don't cleanse the emotions. You're not purging the emotions. You're actually feeding the negativity. So you want to release it in a positive way. Write a letter, burn it in a safe way. You know, um, record something, you know, record a video, delete it, whatever you need to do. Go talk to somebody, get a therapist, whatever you need to do to help you get into a different energy. And the different energy doesn't have to be blissfully happy. It just needs to be different. It needs to not be full of sorrow and regret. And it needs to be ready to maybe look at the world in a different way. I think you don't realize how strong you are. And that's one of the things that's really going to come forward is your strength. All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a beautiful day. And I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Hi, Group 4. Welcome to your reading, Messages from Your Future Self. And your quote was, You know you're in love when you can't fall asleep because reality is finally better than your dreams. 
Dr. Seuss. Ooh, that's a beautiful quote. You have the awakening card, awakened awareness. That's beautiful. Okay, let's look at these other cards here. We have conclusions are within reach. You're getting close to something. You're getting very close. Let's see, we have warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? Yeah, that's beautiful. Joan of Arc, the warrior of light. I have a steel-like faith in myself. The angels armor me with conviction. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys are, are working on something very big that's going to have impact on many people. Support. Beautiful energy here. Let me, let me move this here. And I'll move this here. Okay, and then we have compassion. Oh, that's beautiful. Some of you guys may be in the medical field or be thinking about going in the medical field. Like, take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? There's a lot of people going to watch this. Manifestation. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you're about to manifest some really big things in your life. Many of you have been working on big things. This could be money. Um, but I feel like a lot of you have like an angelic frequency here and we have two warrior energies here. So I feel like you're a fighter for people. You may have had to fight your whole life. Um, and, uh, it's time to turn the fight. It's almost like you're going to start fighting for other people, fighting for people's rights or fighting for something. There's some kind of cause here, um, that I feel like you guys are going to be fighting for. It could be for you, you know, and your family. Um, but there's bravery here. I feel like you may have had a past life as a warrior as well. I feel like this is the warrior aspect of your future self, of your higher self coming forward, um, telling you to have some compassion for yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Um, we have support here. You're supported, all right? And take the support around you. Take what take everything that comes to you. I'm getting that very, very clearly. Everything that comes to you, you have earned. Okay. It's manifesting. All right. I feel like many of you are like warriors of light, warriors of truth. Um, and sometimes warriors of light, warriors of truth don't come in the, uh, quote unquote normal package. Okay. So, uh, you may be an outside the box kind of thinking. There's a lot of pink in these two cards. I'm feeling like, uh, I feel like you're, you're becoming aware of your compassion for others and yourself. Um, and I feel like you, you want to help. It's like you want to help humanity. You have a larger calling on your life and you're aware of it. That's part of this awakening. This is a, this may be a secondary awakening for some of you or a third. Here we have the sun. Yeah. We have the king of presents. We have the Knight of Candles, which is often a victorious card as well. A lot of victory, a lot of positivity here. You're very bright. Uh, a fool, the fool, a fool, the fool. And then we have the Seven of Potions. So I feel like you, you are very illuminated. You may already have gone through an awakening situation and just may be more aware of how things work in the universe, how energy works. I feel like you may be an energy worker, actually. And um, I feel like there's something about to wrap up in your life that's going to give you such crystal clear clarity about your next steps. And I feel like you are going to know. And you're going to be, it's going to make you very happy. The sun is about vitality, happiness, joy, um, victory. I'm feeling like the king of presence is very successful. Uh, the king of presence is like the king of pinnacles. So very successful, very good with business, very good with earthly matters. Um, but there's an element about you that's very etheric, okay? You know the power of manifestation. Uh, and you know that having compassion for yourself also allows you to have more compassion for others. You understand the cycles of healing. Uh, and if you don't understand that, you're going to. I feel like you're going to have a moment of clarity. That's what I feel like. There's a moment of clarity coming for you. The great gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits, soul tribe. Yeah. I feel like you are calling in or you have called in your soul tribe. They're actually going to come towards you and help you. Uh, and for many of you, this could be very overwhelming because I feel like most of you have been this warrior alone. Um, and I feel like you're the kind of person who isn't afraid to say the truth to, uh, and it may rattle people. 
Um, you may always have a wall up with others. And I feel like part of the compassion for self is understanding that we do need other people. Uh, even the most uh, protective of ourselves we can be. I'm saying this in a roundabout way. Um, you have to have other people in your life. Okay, You have to allow other people into your life. It's part of your life mission. Okay, It's part of your higher calling. You can't have compassion and... Uh, protect people and be a warrior for people if you can't interact with them, okay? And it, it's hard. It's hard because I feel like a lot of people who are in on a spiritual mission in life or feel a higher calling or something like that, they would like to do it from isolation if they could. But the truth is you can't. This The work that you are going to do or you're working on, you can't do in isolation because you're actually helping the collective, okay? Let me get another card here. Okay, we have triple spiral, listening to d divine wisdom and joyfully learning life's lessons. So I feel like that's where you are. You are, you are at a place where you can really start to listen to what the universe is saying to you. And you can be begin to act on it in a powerful way that's going to help others and yourself. Um, it's like spirit wants me to tell you, your future self wants me to tell you that money is not going to be a problem. Okay, you need to concentrate on uh, this work you're doing, this manifestation you're doing. This conclusions are within reach. I feel like that is going to be the, um, I'm seeing like a train changing tracks. There is an awareness coming forward for you that's going to help you change tracks. And they want you to stay really positive about it. Okay. Um, it's going to require a leap. We have the full here, a new beginning. There's a new beginning coming for you. Um, and it could be in any area, any area that you have really struggled with. You've had to be a warrior. You've had to keep fighting. You've had to wear armor. You've had to just keep your head down. Whatever that is for you, that's coming to a conclusion. You're going to get some clarity and be able to move forward, okay? All right, I got crown chakra and change. Yeah, change is certain for you. So let's read the crown chakra first. The frequency of the crown chakra, the violet, violet flower of life, supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light. Okay, so I feel like many of you, you're going through a crown chakra activation, and that's when you become more aware of your connection to divinity, the divinity within yourself, the divinity within your psyche, however you resonate, you become aware of that energy, and you start to really make decisions from that higher place. It's like you become, you go into communion with your higher self, with your future self, with all yourselves. You become aware of, of the fact that you are a multidimensional being and you are uh, aware on many, many different dimensions at the same time. And you have access to all of those dimensions to help you manifest this change. Okay. Uh, we have uh, the frequency of change, change supports our ability to gracefully dance with the forever changing nature of reality, both inward and outward, so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new. So again, we're having new beginnings. There are, there's a lot of new beginning energy here. And they want you to be hopeful because you're not going to be alone. There's going to be a lot of people who show up. It's like I'm seeing a play with different surprise characters showing up. Like you're going to be really surprised by the people that come forward for you, the people who will, will be available to help you through this transition. Um, and I, my crown chakra is, oops, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. My crown chakra is completely opening up. So it may be a new feeling for you. You may start to feel like um, almost like when your scalp tingles, your, and that's your crown opening up. And a lot of people feel, well, I feel it from the crown to the base of my spine. I feel the whole, like my spinal column opening up. And that's just a new awareness of self, okay? Uh, just breathe through it. I'm getting uh, guided. Your future self is saying you should meditate more. You should uh, get into your energetic system more, okay? Um, there's a light body activation coming for you. Um, and... There will be three of those is what I'm being told. It's going to help you manifest this life, this beautiful life where you can use your skills and abilities to help people and also not have to worry about the daily struggle. It, you will be fine. You'll be good. The, you, the abundant universe will provide for you, okay? You have to have faith. You have to have faith in yourself and what's fixing to happen to you. 
as you go through the journey, as you go through each step, you must have faith that each step you're moving in the highest possible way you can. You're moving with the highest possible intentions, that you're going forward to expand in wisdom, expand in strength, and to grow into the beautiful human being that you want to become right so uh, stay positive about this change you do have a lot of energy coming around you with this gathering a lot of times when our tribe begins to gather around us first we feel them etherically and I feel like you may be um, in that that scenario where you will feel them etherically first the reason why spirit does this is because you um, you know you're your empathic abilities, your psychic abilities, your spiritual abilities are growing. They're opening up, especially with that crown chakra expansion. And uh, you're going to feel things deeper. Your empathy is going to get more intense. Okay. So um, it's really good that energetically you'll feel people first because by the time, oops, I'm so sorry. By the time they come into your life, you will be a little bit more used to their energy and it won't blow you out of the water because I feel like you, you feel things very deeply now and that's going to get even more deeper. Okay, so uh, take care of yourself, drink lots of water, um, get enough sleep, take care of your vessel, because this kind of awakening can be stressful, okay, because it's a lot of change, and I feel rapid change for you guys is coming, very rapid, um, and they want me to throw three dice for you, so I'm going to, all right, um, we have two, three, and five. So 55. That is five, five. And five and five reduced to 10. So beginning and ending. So you're ending a cycle, lots of change. Ending a cycle, beginning another. Be patient with yourself and know you're supported, okay? And look for those 55s. Those are going to be not, uh, signs of alignment, okay? All right, guys, that's what I got for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a most beautiful day, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.